Good morning to you. Morning. We get a lot of questions from friends, clients, uh, people we've worked with that we do editing for, etc., about where we find our music for our, the videos that we make. So probably our number one favorite resource that we use most often is the Free Music Archive. It's just a website online you can go to. It doesn't require a password or anything like that. You don't have to be an internet sleuth to find it. Just Google it or go. But you can sign in. You can sign in and make a profile and then you can save playlists and stuff like that, so that's helpful. But you don't have to to download music, so that's good to know as well. And what's helpful is you can search by genre, you can search by uh, Creative Commons license, so you can find songs that are in the public domain, sorry Rosie, or that don't require attribution or that are attribution only. There's lots of options there. I don't think that either one of us is a, an expert on Creative Commons licenses, except that we know that um, you know you got to click the boxes to say that you're about to share it on YouTube, and then you know that you're in the the cool zone. Yeah, and you can find ones that uh, you can't use for commercial purposes. So let's say you have a successful YouTube channel and you use AdSense to make money with your videos. In that case, you couldn't use one of those songs. Um, and I, it seems like some of it's kind of the honor system, but in general, I like to play by the rules there because I appreciate the musicians and all the work that goes into these songs, especially when some of them don't even require attribution, because then I still feel like I want to share their information because I know that it is time consuming and I'd rather let people know about them if possible. Right. Um, and then you use the YouTube... Free music audio library for YouTube? Yeah, which you guys probably know about, but if you don't... You should definitely check that out because that's really easy to use. Yeah, there's a lot of good songs on there. And again, you can filter by um, attribution or non-attribution and genre. Um, the most it'll say is like, paste this into your YouTube description, um, which is which is pretty helpful, but not as a, as an extensive. Not the library isn't as extensive as Free Music Archive, and like the music choices are a little bit more limited, but. Um, still pretty extensive in there, so that's a good resource to check out. And you're already logged into YouTube probably, so it's helpful not to have to leave. And sometimes we do buy music for a couple of bucks here and there. We're not total cheapskate, cheapskates. Um, and I, I mean, I've used Pond5. Uh, I think we've used Musicbed. Beat Suite, Tune Fruit. Premium Beats. There's lots. There's lots of them out there. And then again, that's just a matter of. Um, what matches your tastes or your needs for that particular video. And there are some more expensive but pretty good options like Marmoset and yeah. I forget the other one, but those places work with actual artists to create yeah. music on demand basically for your project. And so you can imagine that the cost would be more expensive. Uh, and the, our other favorite idea that we haven't had an opportunity to uh, use yet is to contact musicians that you know and ask to use their music. One of the cooler things about making videos is that you can bring in a lot of different elements including music from lesser known artists and so we really like the attribution process. We hope that maybe someone will check someone out and um, maybe that artist will get a little bit more exposure. So if you can, um, use people that you know or local artists, then that's an even cooler way to use your platform if you have an audience. Yeah, just be weary. I mean, it, it, maybe you have a successful friends or something and they have a record company. Just make sure you go on the record company's website to see if there's any process that you have to follow to license one of their songs. You don't want to get sued. We advise against getting sued. Digital monies. Don't pay your digital monies. We would love to hear what your favorite sites are. Um, you know, those are the ones that we use, but we know that there's many more out there. So we, if you have any favorite sites, we'd love to hear what it is uh, or what they are in the comments. And we're also starting a um, folk band where we just play harmonica. So if that kind of music interests you, just hit us up in the comments too, and we'd love to share some tracks.